Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is Cindy here and today I'm back with another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be basically installing a 6x6 lace closure wig unit. It's blending, babe. Blending. And it's not even glued down, like, period. So if you want to see how I got this look, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so for this tutorial, I don't plan on talking about a whole lot because the process is pretty simple. But right here, you just see me parting out the hair and just basically going over the roots to flatten it out before I go in for the install. So right here, I'm just going to take my bronzer. You can either use a bronzer or a face powder, honestly, but I'm just going to take this powder and spread it all across my lace so it can match my skin tone. When it comes to matching or tinting your lace, you can either use face powder, your bronzer, a creamy um, foundation, or creamy concealer. Honestly, whatever matches your skin tone the best. Okay, so this is how the wig looked after I put the powder on it. As you can see, it's matching, it's blending, so yes. I'm basically going to go in and just cut the lace and then lay it down. To get the closure to lay super flat, I just cut off the tab on the sides to basically help it blend more seamlessly. <laughs> no, for real though, like I just cut these tabs and then next up you're going to see me cutting my lace down the middle just so I can have a clear vision on where I'm cutting and then I'm going to go into my lace and cut into zigzag motions until I reach the end of the lace. And yeah, zigzag motions honestly just make it look more natural versus just going straight across the lace with a straight line because boots hairline is straight across. But when it comes to cutting off the lace, some people use razors, scissors, and I don't know. Honestly, I don't have a preference. At one point, I was using the razor, but even though it gave me that zigzag natural type of feel, I also felt like it was looking too boxy. So I went back to the scissors, and honestly, I love it. <music> about the video but honestly the hot comb has became my best friend like this presses out my roots so good so I literally just go over my roots probably a hundred times with the hot comb just so it can be flat because I'm not wearing a bulky wig <laughs> like in all honesty and this is hella random which I'm sorry not sorry for it but I was dreading this voiceover because honestly I have the most monotone boring voice so I'm trying guys, I really am trying, but my voice is just so dry, which is why I don't talk a lot, because it comes off as very sarcastic, which I am, but that's besides the point, let's get back to the tutorial, seriously. And right here, I'm just trying to get a distinct part, so I'm just trying to go over the middle part and perfect it before I go in, so I'm using my bronzer, a tweezer, and basically anything to make the lace look better than what it already looks so now I'm going to go in with my gotcha be spray and honestly just spray it on the outer side of the lace it doesn't have to be anything too crazy because I honestly just put the spray on and lay it down so yeah so immediately after spraying the gotcha be spray I lay my lace with a scarf people sometimes blow dry it but honestly this method has been working for me just spraying the got to be and putting on a scarf and it just lays it down like that and honestly it just saves you time drying time like you just have to put it on and it dries pretty quickly so while it was drying i just hit my hair with a flat iron it was already flat iron like i had said so i really just went over it again it's honestly the ocd in me so i just straightened my hair and waited for it to dry so this is how everything looked when we finished. As you can see, I don't really have to do anything besides spray the gotcha be spray and look how it's laying, like, for real. So for the thousandth time, I'm going to go in with my high comb and just press up the roots, 
bump up the front just so it could like look have some more dimension or some body to it because I don't like just a extremely flat look and I'm also going to use my um, wax stick I forgot the brand but yeah I use my wax stick because this basically just controls all the flyaways and controls everything that's out of place and then the hot comb just solidifies it so daily combo daily combo <laughs> no for real honestly so i just did that and till i'm satisfied and after that i'm honestly going to be done okay so this is the finished look as you guys can see in the video this is a pretty simple process and yes i'm just going to comb it out and i'm done with the looks okay guys so this is how the wig came out this is a six by six lace closure like i said so this is a glueless install. I just basically cut the lace off and sprayed some got to be spray, which I didn't have to do, but I just did for the sake of the video, honestly. But after spraying the got to be spray, I just wrapped it up in a scarf and just let it sit for a while. It was pretty straightened. I mean, pretty straightened or already flat ironed. I don't know. It was already that, so I didn't have to style it any. So this is just how it came out. I just put some um bronzer or face powder on my lace to make it blend with my skin tone and like you can see it's just blending seamlessly seamless seamless it's just it's blending period it's blending. <laughs> so yeah like i said this is just the end product of it this is 26 inches and this is also an 18 inch um closure but it's a six by six which means you have more parting space and also this is a wig made by me and this hair is from my brand Stunner Girl Hair Co. So make sure you guys go follow us or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Stunner Girl Hair Co. And then make sure you shop StunnerGirlHairCo.com to get custom made wigs, units, installs, and all of that jazz. <laughs>